welcome back to the channel on YouTube for a brand new episode of our MLB The Show 22, the road to the show featuring James Bishop in the last year of his extension here in Seattle. I mean, after this season, Chance is a free agent. He can walk, he can leave, he can go wherever he wants, wherever he wants to seek the big bucks at. So, definitely something that a lot of people are going to be keeping their eyes on is, does, does Seattle just have what it takes to keep Chance Bishop here in town? You know, you got to think you have Kalenic, you have Julio. Is that enough? Is that enough to keep Chance in town? Yeah, I think last season, that was a season that I think a lot of fans and a lot of people thought that, hey, the Mariners could do it. They went up two games to none in the ALDS, and then they dropped three in a row. Three in a row to the Yankees of all teams. Not a not a way you want to start off a season. Not a way that not you know, start off a season. Not a way you want to end a season. I mean, who would have thought that of all of all the things that this Mariners team has done? Like, look at this team. This is a top five team when it comes to hitting. This is a top. I even say ten team. I say even top. You know. Five pitching staff, a top three offense, top five pitching staff, and we get just—I don't even know how to describe it. We go to the wild card, fine, but then we lose to the Yankees. Come on, we're like we're one of the better teams in baseball, and we somehow lose to the Yankees in the ALDS. That is the most Mariners thing possible to happen. But this season, we gotta we gotta win. Jose Burrios is here in Miami. You like to see that. I mean, Jose definitely helping that Hispanic heritage down there in Miami. You like to see stuff like that. You don't like to see the Marlins beating the Mariners on opening day, taking out Alex Manoa. Alec Manoa. I keep saying Alex is Alec with a K. Emerson Hancock, number two starter in this rotation for the Seattle Mariners. Gotta hope that he comes off and has himself a good season. Uh, just because, you know, it's part of this team. It's, hey, this team relied a lot on its pitching last season. It's going to have to rely a lot on its pitching this season. Now here, bottom of the first, it's going to be, hey, liner up the middle. That's a base knock for Chance Bishop. Good on him for securing the base hit. So he's on base with two outs in the inning. Say Suzuki. Up at the play, it's gonna be a be a cold pitch right there. Taking pitch, Bishop steals the bag. His first on the season, first stolen base in on the second game of the season. And now here, three-two count. Bishop, that ball's hit to right field. Bishop was on the run, and there you go. That's gonna be a RBI single in the first inning here, putting uh, the Mariners up on top. Now, Chance pitching on Perez again, and Bishop sends that one to center field. That one will get down. Good on Chance Bishop. Just make contact there. Not even driving it, no power behind it. Just contact. That's all you need. Contact, and now guess what? We're going to be a tear on the base pass. That's a that's a no throw. Not even a stolen base. Was that, that the... No, no, that's just a no decision. No, uh, no throw. Uh, so we don't even get charged with a stolen base. We just got a free take. And we steal third base right here. It's going to be our second stolen. A third? No, did they count it? They count it apparently. Okay. So three stolen bases on the season. Bishop sends that one to center. And that's going to be caught to end the fourth inning. Not what you want. And now, hey, we're, we're up by up by four runs. Ground up the middle. Smack down by a second base and Bishop. Safe at first. That's going to be an infield single. Brings in a run. 7-2, a Mariners lead. 7-3, lead now. Bottom of the eighth. Bishop pops this one up. Big infield pop-up. Big, big infield pop-up. You hate, you hate seeing that. That's not what you wanted to see. Guess what the Mariners, though? They take this game 7-3. Trinos with the save. Three inning save. And Hancock with the win. His first of the season. Now, George Kirby, 15 and 11, a 568 year rate is absolutely brutal. You definitely need Kirby to, to rebound. You know, Kirby, he's. I don't know. I don't know what's up with Kirby. He doesn't sim well, it seems like. 
Nothing in the sim just goes his way. But 15 and 11, 26 decisions in a 560 ADA. That is gross. Home run here in the first inning. That gets that gets Seattle on the board. First of the season for Chance Bishop. Good on him. Good on the young second baseman. He's 25 years old. He's only 25. That's insane when you really think about how many seasons in Chance Bishop is. We're, what, the 44th episode of our Chance Bishop Rosa show? He's 25 years old. That's wild to think of. Just wild to think that, hey, this is the player that's coming out here and just dominating everyone. And he's, he's just cruising. He's not even, like... I don't know. I didn't try to describe it. He's just doing his thing. Living his best life, I guess. But fly out right there. Not what you wanted. Bottom of the eighth is a tie game. Bishop can give him the lead with a swing of the bat, but he cannot. It's a base hit. Base hit leads off the bottom of the eighth inning. But a 2-2 game right now. Bottom of the eighth. Bishop with an out here in the inning. He's going to swipe second base. Throw very late. Now, it's still 2-2. 2-2 count. Alex Kilroff, Bishop stealing, swing, throw, not in time. Strike him out. Don't throw him out. All right. Three punch shots for Davidson. And uh, uh, the Marlins hold off, and they win in the ninth. They win in the ninth. All right. Now here, we're, we're setting up a pitcher to the mound right now. It's the bottom of the first inning. Bishop sends that one to center field. That's a base knock. Uh, it's two outs in the inning, though. So I don't know why they have us in the three hole. I feel like Chance is definitely more of a leadoff guy, like a contact speed. And I don't know why Seiya Suzuki is in the four hole. I mean, I, I could be. I don't know if he's like a power threat. I don't think he's a power threat. Personally, I mean, Bishop's more of a power threat than Seiya Suzuki. Just saying. That's just me, though. But there you go. Bishop sends that one to left field. Good on him. That's a multi-RBI home run. That swung on and belted. Yes, you are right. Second home run of the season. 110-415. Off the bat. That's because the dome was open. If the dome was closed, we all know it, it was just helped because the dome was open. It's the only thing that comes into effect is that the dome was, in fact, open. Now, ground up the middle. That just bleeds in. It's a 95 game. Throw not in time for the runner going home, making a nine to six game. All right, chance. Now an eight to nine game. That's going to be a grounder to the second base. And the runner goes to third though. So the runner on third with two outs here, and the six. Can we? Can we maybe win this game? Pull it off? We do. It's an eleven to nine game. Grounder on the infield, and that's just a quick ground out right there in the eighth inning. That doesn't help the team out at all. But we do come out victorious. Trino with the win. Puck with the loss. And Brash with the save. All right. Let's go Seattle now. Sending Adam Mako to the mound. In the final game of the episode. He's 21 starts last year. 5 and 8. 4, 68 ERA. Oh boy. That's your prototypical fifth starter on a team like this in Road to the Show. Where there's just like zero team construction whatsoever. It's just like, ah, we'll throw players on, on whatever. Oh, you have Julio Rodriguez? Guess what? We'll sign, like, Cedric Mullins. Oh, you, you have this player? We'll sign this other player who plays the same position, but he's a higher overall, so the AI is like, oh, higher overall equals better. Yeah, it's, that's how the AI works for some reason. I don't like it. I don't know why. Just how it works. Uh, but... The 6-4 game now here. Bishop sends that one deep to right field. Perfect, perfect. And that one's gone. Again. So what happens when the roof's open. Roof's closed. That's, that stays in. Roof's open. Guess what? That's a home run. Our third of the season. Good old Chance Bishop. Three home runs so far on the season. We know it's a Chance Bishop known power threat right here. Dude definitely can probably pop off for 30-30 if you really tried. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. Comment down below what you thought of this episode of our Road to the Show series. And text time YouTube, though. Peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy. And hope to catch you guys on the next episode of our MLB The Show 22 Road to the Show. Fe